We was talking about uh, John Morant. Oh, we was talk, oh. talking about his uh, his decision that he made and where he grew up at. Like, come on, bro, you didn't have to you didn't have to deal with none of that shit. You shouldn't even be carrying around your pistol or anything like that. Not not in the setting like that, and you don't need it. You know? Yeah, I mean, you should keep your pistol, especially places like that, but don't be flashing the shit. Keep the shit on you, don't like, nah, flash the shit. A, a, a but you can have level, your own Especially level. if you know what a name, you gotta have some to protect a, yourself. A dude on his level, I, be, I believe he allegedly got like a $230 million contract. He should not be in a possession of a, of a firearm on his body. He, he, he could pay people for that. You got a $230 million True. contract, bro. There's no reason for you to even... It, it ain't remember, remember that T.I. I'm episode? still have some personal no of course in your crib but I feel you in your crib but you two, you 230 M's up I, I shouldn't you can make you. your own club but though you can have you, you can have fun fact. every week that's a fact but see that's something you gotta learn because that's what a lot of the older cats who got money motherfuckers got a big ass mansion they got the the club is downstairs you got them right the club is club, downstairs the studio the basketball court shit where I need to go I don't need to go nowhere. Shit, I might, I might make a fast food joint in my uh, fucking uh, mansion. Somebody I got did the that. money to do it. Somebody yeah, did bro. that. Somebody had a Starbucks. I think Tyrese had a Starbucks in his crib. Some crib. Why not? Oh, you trying to bring all the white bitches here? See, <laughs> hey, bro. You was trying to bring all the white bitches on. All the frappuccinos, baby. All the frappuccinos. But, but it's it's like why you not? said you like a mocha bitch. Yeah, you setting up your own ecosystem. That's for fact, real, though. Real? I mean, technically, that's what it is. He, this dude got a two hundred thirty million dollar contract. How many? How many families he probably feeds? Realistically, you said, huh? I mean, for it. Hey, man. No, we was talking about it earlier, though. Though, no, it, it's just like he can bring the club to him, though. Like, you, but you are the attraction. You the son. You the son. Niggas will revolve around you. That's see, a fact. Dude. That's see, a fact. See. Yeah, see, like, if he wants to see him like a big boss, like, also, I don't know what he's thinking. I'm not going through his mind state. I'm just, like, speaking off what I see blankly because I don't know this nigga at all. I've never talked yeah. to this nigga. But what I see, if he wants to be a big boss, gangster motherfucker, get your own club. You can seem like a boss there. You want some New Jack City shit. If that's really what you want. Like, shit, money, like, shit. It look like a boss in there. This is one of those situations where as an old as an older cat I have to always check myself on talking shit on that young man because at the end of the day I don't know I don't th- I don't know anybody in here like that but I doubt any of us has been a 23 year old with a 200 million dollar contract so to be I 23, ain't even 23 to be 23 with 230 mil- million dollars shit I'm old as shit I get 230 million dollars you might hear about a whole lot of adult fuckery <laughs> adult wow <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> A gentleman with he had the word adult on his Ferrari. He was racing on the Brooklyn Bridge with uh, multiple whores. Yeah, that's probably what I'd be doing at my big age. Hey, no, but that hey, that's cool. Like, like, like I was telling you, Uganda, when he was in here, we we are black men. We got to set a pre- we set a president. I I, I want to be a black man if I tell him he need to tighten up. You nah, know, that's fair. That's fair. Everybody I, I tell him I, I can't I can't cuddle him because bro, you are adult because you can get hit with some real shit at the age of 13 and do real time. That's a fact. In certain in certain places. So if we ain't tightening, if we ain't correcting our own people, then how can we tell motherfuckers put down the guns if they see you know, and I'm not just saying John Moran. Everybody got guns, but it's it's what you do with the power that you got. It's not what how much power you got and how you wield it. It's what you do with it. Like you, you some some people like to force their power. Some people don't. But John Moran had got power, and he using his power irresponsibly. Like they can blackball this nigga next year, bro. He supposed to be getting a contract extension. They can blackball him. I don't know how true it is. I just saw on Twitter he he. He, he got the biggest deal power aid has ever given an athlete. Yeah. Then three days later, the gun shit happens and they remove all power aid ads. So I'm so who knows? He may get sued to get that money back. I don't know what the contract was because at that point, 
um, if, they, if they hire you to be the spokesperson for a brand and you're ultimately your uh, what was it a moral clause I think they call it where you're making the brand look bad because trust me he's 23 he's an amazing athlete they signed him because they expect him to be around for another 15 20 years yeah but you, but you see Cardi being offset just got off uh, McDonald's dropped their contract with him because they don't they do not set a president see uh, what the fuck? Hold on, I, I got the text message. My bad. They don't set a presidency of like a fam, like the family that they want. And like I, I said, like oh, I wouldn't. I, I'm surprised y'all just now getting Cardi being offset off of that. You know, because that's like a, in a company standpoint. Hey, bro, what you doing outside? That's not helping my company out. And I'm giving you money to represent me. And since I'm giving you this money to represent me, I can, can I can I get some representation of you? Like if I gotta put the shit in the contract to say off, off uh, when you outside, if you're not representing me right, I gotta take you out. Yeah, that's what I was talking to Uganda about. Adult, like this as as black people, we gotta we gotta start our own shit, making our own contracts and doing that shit and doing holding it the same way, bro. Cause we gotta hold itself accountable. Like it's about these kids. It's not about nobody else but these kids. It's not. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about these kids. And he's showing the kids because adult. You. I don't know if you paid attention to Michael Jordan, but you lived in that era, bro. You seen what Michael Jordan was to a lot of motherfuckers, especially in the hood. Everybody wanted to jump from free throw line like Michael Jordan. For real. For real. And the, and and John Morant really got to think from that ass point. Who set that presidency? Because if he say LeBron James, bro, you wouldn't catch LeBron doing stupid shit like this. And like, well, that's all I was saying. LeBron sets, LeBron James, not give LeBron. From so much scrutiny he catch and so much shit, LeBron keep his head up high. Because oh, no. y'all wouldn't have seen Bronny if he was my son smoking weed on Instagram. That boy would have lost his life that day. He would have lost But let's see, we don't... Shit, that might have actually happened though. As far as we, we don't have to know. That that might have happened. LeBron might have put his hands on that youngster. Because ultimately, no, Le, LeBron is that a was the right thing to do. Le, LeBron is a family brand. He didn't get this far by engaging in fuckery and bullshit. So, the the, the, the reason the, the the James family are able to live in that mansion is because LeBron keeps his nose clean, stay out of bullshit, and. If you was my quote unquote son, you bringing fuck me to the family, you might fuck up my money. Shit, you fucking up your own money because people might not want to. I mean, we don't got the same stigma that it has, like how we used to, but it's still not quote unquote family friendly. But adult, we got to start carrying ourselves like that. We like a social media really telling motherfuckers we are our own brand. How you carry yourself, that's how motherfuckers going to perceive you. It's not that you don't carry yourself right, but how you carry yourself, people gonna perceive you as that. If you act like an asshole, everybody gonna perceive you as an asshole. If you act like a genuine caring person, everybody gonna treat you like a genuine caring person. Yeah, misery love company, and a lot of people got their guard up on people because they been hurt, but ain't no way in hell, bro, if I sign a contract at 23 for mom, more money than I ever seen, because he came from Murray State, you got to think, bro, what you think John Moran was doing before he got there, before he, he wasn't even a top prospect, it was Zion, that he, the person that he played next to when he was high school, that was a top prospect. He didn't play next and to him, got he played in the same state as him, though. Yeah, they're from no, South Carolina. They, no, they played on they played on the AAU team. No, yeah. they didn't. Not when they got high. Literally, I used to see them. They, yeah, when they was younger. What's though, younger? When, when I'm saying the they play, play, I'm talking about when Zion had peaked as a top player. He was not playing. With oh yeah, but but Chef, when Zion was Zion was dunking on niggas in sixth grade. Yeah, but he I, listen. I'm from that part of the fucking world. A world. I know. No, I know. He was, but on, on he YouTube, was not dunking on niggas in sixth grade. He was dunking on white boys in sixth grade. He was not dunking on anybody melanin in sixth grade. Literally, if hey, he was in hey. a place where there was melanated people, he would not be doing that shit. That nigga was playing private school basketball. That's what all niggas hey, do when they don't hey. want to compete for real. They go and play private school. That that's just hey, go play. Bas- 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 basketball is basketball. No, it's not, gang. I'm- you don't like. Don't please. This is like no. It's not. Like this is my life. That was my life. I don't want people say something like that. 
private school basketball. No, I mean, I'm, not, hey, playing I, private school basketball is not the same as playing like public school basketball. It's not because privately private schools mostly inhabit white people. That's who Zion was playing against. That's why all his tapes were going big and viral. I promise you. I used to work at Adidas league um, tournaments and Nike and Under Armour, every circuit you can think of, these little AAU teams. I see every young nigga that you can think of in the league right now that's going crazy. RJ Barrett, Colin, all these niggas start from before they were nobodies. That nigga right there, I have never seen him play quality basketball. Ever. Like, at a age. Who, Zion? Zion, never. That nigga was buns. And, like, all he does, all they used to do was chop and screw them stupid um, hoops highlights. If you watch him in person, I sat down and work games at his table. Like, he's not that, nah, like, he's a normal-ass nigga. He's just big. And that's what used to get him through high school, um, to his little high school leagues. When he used to hoop yeah. against real yeah. niggas when he played AAU, his team would always lose or he'll pretend to play hurt because he could not compete. It would get, them niggas used to sauce his ass up. Like, that nigga sucks. Hey, no, but that, no, but I, I'm gonna keep it real. That's cool. He's the, but look where he at now, though. But Georgia. yeah, literally two years ago, they were just talking cash money shit about that fat ass nigga, saying they don't even know how long he's gonna yeah. be in the league. You got them right, cause what he what he doing? Not taking the opportunity. Like, cause he didn't take it seriously in college. He didn't take it seriously in high school, cause he thought he thought him being big was enough to get him through everything. So who so who fault is that? That's his fault. That's not I didn't nobody say else's fault. Anybody else's fault? I'm just telling no, you. No, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh no, I know, I know some niggas that that made it further, and then you be like, bro, you. It's just buns. the school that you played there against it's any just, other player. Like he, he's buying. Be for real. Be for real. No, I mean, I watch. Hey, no, I watch Zion, uh, Zion play against niggas on uh, the full games on YouTube. He just like if if he got he, and like he this did not thing, stay if he got a foundation clip on YouTube, you watch piece by piece mashed up. Mixtape. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like when they played on when they played on uh, ESPN and stuff. When he was playing schools on ESPN, Zion. I don't like. I didn't like Ben Simmons coming out. Zion was cool. I just say he played like Sean Kemp. That's who Zion played like too. Ben Simmons though had a whole like. That was a whole different trajectory when he came out of school. He was oh, playing at the top yeah, school in but, the country, Mount Verde. That's not even something that you can see here. Yeah. Hey, I told, you, you I told, I told my everybody brother. Everybody who's like top, top D1 prospect, like nobody you have yeah. to compete. That meanwhile, Zion from a team full of white boys, they ain't worth it. Then we're not the same. That's why, like, y'all come on. So, That's why I believe as though I didn't hear what y'all said earlier, and I wasn't really listening to what y'all were saying right now. But that's why he's having the issues he's having in terms of like his PR and stuff. Because he peaked really? late. He didn't peak in high school. He didn't peak when he first got to Murray State because he barely got to Murray State at that. He peaked like his junior or senior year in college. So like all this fame yeah. and publicity and shit is new to him. And yeah. the humility part is not something that he was taught early on. Like most people who peak later on, they're not right. they don't get excited about shit like that. They went through all that shit in high school. Meanwhile, you got his daddy sitting here eating this shit up more than he is, which is making it worse. But yeah, yeah, his pops eating that shit. His his his, his pops looks turd. His pops ain't looking good. Now, don't get me wrong, John Moran's his own man. He gonna do what he want. He the breadwinner, so he basically the the head of the family at this point. You get two hundred thirty million dollars, you run well, the he, family. Well, he doesn't have so, his liquidated. That's the thing that people don't realize. Well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's uh, over this uh, the course of the contract. I don't know if it's five. Yeah, years so if he fucks up the contract, that money is gone. That's a fact. Georgia, yeah, he can he, he got credit. He can go up and say, "Let me get this." No, on no, credit. no. Like, credit. Come on now. Some credit is something not, you obtain just because he's an NBA player. Does not mean he has credit, baby. No, 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 no. Not that he's an the NBA player, but they get paid on the fifteenth. No, but you're not listening to what, what I'm saying. Day. Credit doesn't mean that you're just at like if he fucks up his contract, he is done. Like, do you not understand yes. that? Like, it's finito. No, it's the, and he no, goes back to a nobody. Why, I why? just had a homeboy who literally walked, signed on with the Wolves, fucked up his contract doing some dumb shit because he thought he was above everything because he's made it into the league. And they dropped his ass like a bad habit. And now he's playing in the D-League. Mm. 
Mm. I mean, what's going on with Delonte West? Thank you, like no, nah, that's, 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 that's mental. No, health. real, no, for real, for real. That's mental health issues. He, no, West. he fucked, he fucked LeBron mom and shit. We don't know that. <laughs> we, do that. we don't know that. <laughs> he, was clapping, he, was <laughs> he was clapping those. Fuck that. I, I, ain't, I man. don't know that. But, but no, no, just being for real. How you can't eat where you shit at though, like that. You feel me? He over here eating. You in the league? After you do that, you go down to Dallas, and then nobody hear from you. Yeah, but he, but see, uh, Mark Cuban actually went out to Dallas because he was on the street. He was on the street panhandling. Mark Cuban grabbed him up, allegedly put him in some sort of therapy counseling. Do left, do back on the streets, man. At yeah, some point, you can't. Him. At some point, you can't do nothing about it. You tr- you could try. You can't make nobody. I mean, he dealing with something. It, it is what it is, man. No, no fool. For real, for real. So you know, you can't save everybody. That's a fact. You can't save everybody. Can't save everybody. Everybody can't come. I love you, but shit, everybody can't come. Ain't nothing against you. It just yeah. sometimes that shit this it just how that shit uh falls. Especially, especially a motherfucker that's gonna jeopardize the bag. I mean we could be yeah, cool. we, 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 we could be cool, we could be cool, we could be family, but again, if I'm the nigga with the two hundred and thirty million dollar contract, I'm the nigga with his name on some Nike sneakers, I'm the nigga with the power aid contract, and I'm sure he got other little local deals going on, just him being in Memphis. Anybody come around me fucking shit up, you're done, you're banished. We're done. Yeah, bro, they might catch me whooping his ass or something because I'm mad that you that you did this shit in front of me because you know we didn't have shit and now that we got shit we can't fuck this shit up. Sir, sir, if I'm up 230 mil, I won't be doing anything to discipline anybody. Oh, (laughs) I'm not. I I wasn't there. I don't. I never text messaged anybody. I was never on anyone's phone telling anybody to do anything. So, hey, shit just happened. If I'm 230 m's up. Shit just happened. I don't know. Hey, like, no, like, I, hey, no, I sound mean, like you're making excuses, adult. Uh, how am I making excuses? What do you mean? What's Probably you just come excuses? back. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, bro. Oh, What's your problem? Nah.